was considering a commission to look into uh, ill effects of vaccines, and, and somebody, his name is Robert Kennedy Jr., was advising him that vaccines were causing bad things. And I said, no, that's a dead end. That would be a bad thing. Don't do that. <laughs> HHS's job is supposedly to test, to develop a profile on those vaccines, on their safety, and then report to the public. And what we found over 30 years, they've never done it at a single time. And what HHS has admitted here is that there is no scrutiny. There is no vigilance. There's literally no genuine safety testing that takes place or any of the licensed vaccines in this country. If a physician feels that there's a genetic association and a sibling, a cousin, some other relative, it's not safe for the vaccine, they can provide a medical exemption for that vaccine. There's no limitation. Predisposition, uh, some sort of immunological comp problem, uh, they, they can go to a doctor anywhere in the state and get an exemption from that doctor. That's very important to me. <laughs> Now doctors say that law is not tough enough. There's a very small number of physicians who have basically betrayed their professional oath. When you have a physician acting unprofessionally and allowing other families to evade the law, someone needs to be able to represent the public. You know, for us who believe in liberty, it's not difficult. You know, you know what you put in your body is your business. You know, whether it's a dangerous substance or not a dangerous substance. And it's simply uh, that easy. Parents have, say, a false belief that vaccines cause autism and they don't want to vaccinate their child. Who do those children go to? And I think the answer is they go to the state. The due process clause of the 14th Amendment protects the fundamental right of parents to make decisions concerning the care, custody, and control of their children. This poor child will have to be tortured with six different injections at the same time. And if you would like to put those six up at the one visit, at her first visit to get all these immunizations, I'm happy to do that. We haven't really un don't really understand vaccines very well. We give them, we make them, we administer them empirically, and they work or they don't work. He never had medicine his whole life, never went to a doctor. I never had a vaccination. We never had medicine growing up, um, and he lived to be 92. And we can certainly go further than school immunization mandates. For example, France and Italy have criminal laws for certain vaccines, and it would be almost certainly constitution to have them here. Well, so in 2013 I wrote an article about this and actually nothing has changed. Memory B cells are inadequately produced by the mumps vaccine. The original uh, Gerald Lynn strain is genotype A and the current strains are genotype G. And in fact, when you do neutralization tests, there are differences, striking differences. There are biological reasons why the vaccine is failing. <laughs> So since we don't understand the immune system fully, how can we say that we can put this injection into a human being, or 20 injections into a human being, that we know the purpose of it is to change the immune system? All I care about is humanity going in the right direction and children's brains. That's all I care about. I don't give a rip what your public health department has to say. I don't give a rip what mine has to say. I don't care what they do to me. All I care about are children's brains. End of story. Look at the years of information that I have put together with, with medical backup, PubMed, PMID numbers, and then make a decision because only you have to live with your child no matter what happens, and nobody's going to get your back. Get out of here. Get the f*** out of here. I think you ought to be allowed to ask legitimate questions without being attacked because I think that's the basis of democracy. I mean, we, Thank you. we ought to be having a responsible debate. I'm not getting no flu shots. If it's flu season, I'm going to take some lemons, some honey. Everyone should have the choice to take vaccines. Some places it's becoming mandatory, but it does benefit the big drug companies. Let's just find out the truth. 
but they don't know how to cure anything. You have a, a medical tyranny now. The studies that had been designed to look at safety had been designed in such a way as they would never capture these children, nor did anyone want to capture them, nor was anyone interested in the parent's story when they said, my child regressed after a vaccine. They were just put in a corner, told it couldn't happen, and never investigated. And that was absolutely unacceptable. You are one of the greatest environmental crusaders we've ever had, so I'm assuming... We do not need that many vaccines.